When it comes to legendary movie scream queens, I think a lot of folks immediately think of Jamie Lee Curtis. And you know what? That's cool. I get it. She's definitely right up there. But still, this lady is tops in my book. I know, I know. At first, it looked like Adrian Barbeau was destined for a career in television comedy. Her role as Maude's daughter Carol on the classic Norman Lear sitcom helped elevate her fame and celebrity after starring on Broadway as Rizzo in the original version of the musical Grease. And after Maude, Barbeau seemed to be all over my TV screen with guest appearances on shows like Eight is Enough and Quincy. And of course, she also did the whole Aaron Spelling thing, appearing in a couple of episodes of Love Boat as well as Fantasy Island. But this video is not about Adrian's work on television past, present, or even future. Instead, I am counting down her top five movies of all time. And to do this, I took Adrian's five most popular films and then asked over 2,500 fans to tell me which one they liked best. And guess what? I think the results might surprise you. So without any further explanation, let's get going. Coming in at number five with 10% of the vote is the George Romero Stephen King collaborative anthology film Creep Show. Adrian's segment was called The Crate. And I don't want to spoil anything for someone who hasn't seen this movie and still intends to, but I'll just say stay away from that crate. With 17% of the votes, number four is the John Carpenter classic The Fog. In this movie, Barbeau plays Stevie Wayne, a local radio DJ in a town that's celebrating its 100th anniversary. And since this is a horror movie, we all know that things are not going to end well for all of the inhabitants of this small coastal town, thanks to a weird glowing fog that conceals vengeful nautical ghosts. Yep, it's really good stuff, and truthfully, I like this movie a whole lot more than Carpenter's more frequently mentioned horror flick, Halloween. Landing at number three with 19% of survey voters saying that this was their favorite Adrian Barbeau flick, we've got the Wes Craven film Swamp Thing, which was based on the DC comic book of the same name. I saw this movie twice at the theater and then many, many times on video later on. The race for number two and number one was really tight, and while the survey was still getting votes, the lead switched a couple of times. But when all is said and done, Number two is the classic Hal Needham star-studded comedy, The Cannonball Run. In this film, Hadrian's role was a relatively small one, but boy oh boy was it a memorable one for sure. So, based on process of elimination, it should come as no surprise to anyone that the number one Adrian Barbeau film, as voted on by her fans, is also my favorite John Carpenter movie of all time. Yep, we're talking about Escape from New York. In this movie, Barbo plays Maggie. She and her boyfriend Brain play a critical role in the film, but things don't go all that well for either of them. But at least Kurt Russell's anti-hero Snake Plissken survives. He would need to, as later on he would have to escape from L.A. While not on the list, I've got to throw out an honorary mention to Adrian's work in the Rodney Dangerfield comedy Back to School. Much like in Creepshow, Adrian's character is not all that likable, but as with everything that she does, she elevates the role and makes it fun to see her get everything that she so richly deserves. So that's it. One more picture. What a great movie this was. Swamp Thing is the one that I would have voted on if I'd been allowed to vote. I love everything about this movie. The sequel with Heather Locklear, well, it wasn't as good, but this one, it's a cult classic. All right, please share your memories in the comments section. Which one would have been your number one pick? And while you're at it, I'd love a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, and I would be honored if you would consider subscribing to my channel. I talk about music, movies, and mostly television from the 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s. You know, the good stuff. But most importantly, and as always, thank you so much for watching.